democratic probably, but uh, what uh, we touched already today, it's very, very important issues. Uh, as we all understand that leadership in education should uh, guide us uh, in the future, but uh, on the other side, uh, probably the uh, task of the states is not to over-regulate these uh, uh, school leaders and the teachers. And in the last uh, few months, my best and most interesting experience was while visiting in the Council of Europe uh, the settings with this commissioner uh, uh, Finland. Uh, we asked where you see our uh, weak points in Europe on education. You know what they finished answer? I saw there will be some, uh, some reports from Finland. They said, you have a toxic accountability in your uh, schools. Toxic accountability. So, it's, I think that it is one of the uh, topics what we should discuss. Uh, what we should uh, talk about and uh, allow uh, school leaders and teachers to do their job uh, <coughs> creatively, uh, interestingly, adopting to the students what they need exactly, what are the type of uh, teaching, and so on. So, uh, thank you for a very nice introduction. And, uh, uh, dear Commissioner, conference participants, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you in Vilnius on the occasion of our conference on leadership in education. Uh, of course, for ensuring quality and efficiency of education institutions and systems, leadership is important as investment in teacher education and development and usage of efficient, up-to-date teaching approaches. I believe that attention given to the theme of uh, leadership in education will generate initiatives and recommendations which will further assist national educational systems to increase quality and efficiency. And primarily, uh, leadership is people. Innovative, creative, active and reflective educators and communities that foster proactive and autonomous school. Tomorrow, on September 10th, in the autumn session, the Parliament of the Republic of Lithuania will start the discussion on National Educational Strategy 2013-2022. This strategy will give us a clear vision for our education for the next decade. Our strategic target is, and priority is to create educational communities of professionals who are reflective and continually improving their competencies. The success of any national educational system depends on its ability to attract the most gifted, competent and creative professionals who can design, discover, uh, mentor others while passing on their expertise and knowledge. A good team is a foundation and it needs a leader who is dynamic, enthusiastic, creative, and ambitious. As you know, like our orchestra. Even a team of most talented musicians need a good conductor to unite a unique style of each musician into an amazing piece of music. The school also needs a strong leader who is able to unite the effort of each individual in the community to achieve high performance and thus ensure personal and public welfare in the future. The law of, on education of the Republic of Lithuania states that education fulfills its goals best when its development is ahead of development of society. Uh, I'm not sure it is in practice. This was also emphasized by Professor Maria Lukšienė, uh, whose uh, 100th anniversary we will celebrate this year. She was the leader of our national educational reform in the newly independent Lithuania. And we are proud that uh, the 100th 
100th anniversary is marked by UNESCO among the under number of other events and we will have a big conference in UNESCO settings uh, devoted to Mary Lushini and leadership in education. The society, as we everybody knows, expect a lot from education. It expects education to develop personalities who will create a society of the future, to educate future employers who will be able to work with technologies with, which are currently not available, uh, to prevent unemployment, to continually take a few steps forward and to be able to provide learners with techniques that could improve their and, of course, our lives. Today and in the future, I should admit that it is not so easy. Uh, to achieve what is expected, teachers and school leaders should be, and many indeed are, competent, dynamic, and innovative. And I will again mention a toxic accountability. We should make every effort to attract and retain people with these qualities in the profession and will, as well as help them reveal their talents, competences, and to advance professionally. Leadership should be a typical feature of the every teacher, since teachers are people holding the front, inspiring, creating, and leading. They shouldn't wait for instructions. On the contrary, they should be able to make decisions and moderate the teaching process accordingly to abilities, needs, and expectations of their students. Only independent and decisive, decisive uh, educators can foster and develop free and creative people who feel comfortable in the modern world. A school leader should be able to mobilize a whole educational community to take action. A leader should take action towards multiple goals, to improve learning environment, to establish and maintain partnership with other stakeholders, including parents, employers, school founders, and social partners. Furthermore, school leaders should employ new approaches in teaching that are attractive, challenging enough, and relevant to young generation. Young people are allergic to outdated approaches of the last century, which is still the case in some of our schools, unfortunately. A teacher's role has changed incredibly. Nowadays, both knowledge and information are easily accessible by everyone. The new digital generation often have more knowledge, information, and certain skills than the teacher of the individual school subject has ever had in the past. Nowadays, teachers are expected to be facilitators, mentors, coaches who help our young people to grow and develop. To be able to navigate in the oceans of information out there, to be able to judge reliable sources and to find solutions to the problems. The research demonstrates that almost one-third of the learners' achievements depends on the school leader's performance. Therefore, it is particularly important to employ the right people for the task to establish favorable conditions for their professional development and to increase school autonomy. The experience of some countries revealed the fact that the in increasing school autonomy in combination with good leadership has increased school outcomes, what was, what was mentioned already by the Liechtenstein minister. Autonomous leaders carry greater responsibilities as autonomy provides them with the freedom for increased creativity and enthusiasm. As the administrative load for the school's management shouldn't become a major obstacle preventing them from focusing on the essential work. Such a quality in teaching, curricula, and the efficiency of staff performance. Red tape should be eliminated not to kill their motivation and desire to grow professionally. It's important to provide a suitable environment and favorable conditions for expertise, exchange, and innovation. Administrative tasks should be eliminated by means of effective technologies 
Various innovations and technological solutions should reach schools fast. In process of education, leader development and good practice dissemination, we have political and financial instruments of the European Union available. There are possibilities to offer by the offered by a new program Erasmus Plus, and we should make the best use of the European Social Fund support. However, everything starts with the idea and the incentive to act. I do hope this conference will provide you and all us with numerous opportunities to share ideas. We could act nationally through determined directions for innovative leadership in education and establishing actions plans for implementation. I hope conference discussion will look into both directions and implementation plans. And I wish the conference uh, success and all of us useful recommendations, which we will be glad to take forward and to feed into the forthcoming Council of Education conclusions when continuing our work in the education area during the Lithuanian presidency of the European Union Council. So, I really wish uh, you all best success uh, because it's our future and uh, your recommendations uh, will be essential for the development of the future work of our European Union Council, Educational Committee, Commission and all of us. Thank you very much.